Hey guys, I'm Joe. Over the past four months, me and my partner, we've had this extraordinary opportunity to travel all around Greece. And honestly, this place is so much more than we expected. It's so much more than the stereotype of paradise islands and blue and white, ho white houses. And I guess that's also the reason why we decided to put together this list. A list of 10 most wonderful places here in Greece that are accessible by car, thus saving hundreds on ferry tickets. And also to sh show you that Greece is just so much more than the island. Well, let's get started. Number one, Voidokilias. Located on the west coast of Peloponnese, it's one of the most unique beaches on the peninsula. It's not only aesthetically beautiful, but it's also situated between a wetland where flamingos and other exotic birds can be spotted and a 13th century Frankish castle, which is perfect, just perfect for a day hike. Number two, Mani Peninsula. Mani is the southernmost point of mainland Greece and due to its geographical location, it's been cut off from the rest of the world for a millennia. To a traveler, it feels like a journey into the past, to times where legends and myths were born. The architecture in Mani is drastically different from the rest of Greece. And those ancient tower houses that are so unique to the peninsula can be explored best in abandoned cities like Vathia. And to top it all off, the people living on the peninsula are direct descendants of ancient Spartans. Number three, Monemvasia. Monemvasia is a stronghold just off the coast of Peloponnese. It's an island which is linked to the mainland by 200 meter long causeway. The place is basically a sea rock with a town and a fortress built on it. Through history, the fortress has been almost unbreachable. Nowadays, many medieval buildings have been converted into hotels and restaurants, but even just a walk on those historic streets is an experience by itself. Number four, Naplion. Naplion is a seaport town on the coast of Peloponnese and also the first capital of ancient Greece. The place reeks with history. There are fortresses, castles, museums, streets full of life and a seafront with a stunning promenade. As it happens, Nothlian is our favorite city in the whole Greece. Number five, Methana. Methana is also a peninsula attached to the Peloponnese. It has risen from the sea due to numerous volcanic eruptions. And to this day, it has over 30 eruption craters on it. Not to worry though, none of those volcanoes are currently active. Methana is such an amazing place with its volcanic landscapes and thermal baths. And well, never have we ever had the opportunity to go inside a volcano before. And this already is a reason enough to visit Methana. Number six, Delphi archeological site. Greece is known for its rich history, very known indeed, which means archaeological sites are almost everywhere. But if there was an opportunity to visit just one, it should definitely be Delphi. The site stands out for both its importance and well-preserved structures. It was once the center of the world and leaders all across the globe came here for the advice. And if you listen well enough, 
Some say you can still hear the chanting of the most known oracle of all time. You really must see it. Number 7. Lefgada. Lefgada is an island located in the heart of the Ionian Sea, connected to the mainland with a small bridge, which makes it so easily accessible by car. The island is home to some of the most scenic beaches, not only in Greece, but in the whole world. For all the beach lovers out there, this is your spot. We have never seen water so pristine and light blue. Add sandy beaches and summer sun to the equation and you'll be living the dream. Number 8. Thermopylae. Thermopylae, meaning the hot gates, is where King Leonidas and 300 fearless Spartans wrote their names into history. Only a few hundred meters from the battlefield and the monument of Leonidas are the thermal springs of Thermopylae. The springs have been mentioned by several important historic figures. Even Hercules was said to have bathed there after his triumphs. And in our opinion, no travel journey is perfect without a good soak in some natural hot pools. Number 9. Pelion. Pelion is a peninsula located on the eastern coast of mainland Greece. And the place is a tribute to the diversity of Greece. It has everything. Thick luscious forests, mountains, waterfalls, some of the most beautiful sandy beaches you'll ever see in your life. And if you happen to be there in right weather conditions, the place turns into something magical. Something almost indescribable. And number 10, Meteora. Crazy, amazing Meteora. In Greek, word Meteora means suspended in the air. Enormous rock formations towering over 600 meters in height rise straight from the ground and form this unique landscape. What makes the place even more special are the monasteries built on top of those rock giants. Today, only six of the original 24 are active, but the mere sight of those structures and monasteries make it a must-see on our list. As a bonus, we're going to end with something that we haven't really seen ourselves, and yet we're absolutely convinced that it should be added to the list. In Greece, there are several mountain lakes, but only two of them are called Tragolimnis, meaning dragon lakes. The two are very close to each other, located on mountain tops near Vikos Gorge, and the legend says the lakes were created by two dragons throwing stones at each other. We were unlucky to discover that the mountain tops were still covered in snow in April, but it is said that in late spring and early summer it's one of the most wonderful hikes in the whole country and it shouldn't be missed. Well, that was it. Our 10 favorite, well, 10 and a half favorite places to visit here in Greece. If you want to get some more information about those places, make sure to check out their vlogs. I'm going to leave the, the link somewhere in here. And I really, really hope that you get the chance to visit Greece yourself. Because at least for us, the, although those places were wonderful, the real beauty of Greece are its people. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.